Hi Virgo, welcome to Spirit Mail. Today we're going to be doing your spirit guided energy focus reading and I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to pray for all the cards or over all the cards at once uh, to, kind of to reduce the time that you guys have to watch me shuffling and praying. God guides angels, archangels, and Holy Spirit. I thank you for my friends born under the sign of Virgo and thank you for tarot as a tool. Show us clearly as it relates to health and wellness, as it relates to career and money, and as it relates to love relationships. Show us clearly what energies will Virgo be navigating. We thank you for the initial messages, the clarifiers, and the PS. Okay, so the PS is done with the little everyday tarot. The clarifiers are coming today from the Arcanum Tarot, and the overall theme is going to come from Colette Baron reeds Enchanted Map. And, of course, the overall energies are going to be pulled from um, John Holland's Psychic Tarot, which is an Oracle deck. So, I have pre-shuffled. Uh, we're doing career and money, and we're doing love because we did not do love last week because I felt compelled to do a reset instead. So, um, I'm just shuffling a quick shuffle to see if we have any jumpers for you guys. And if not, we're going to go right into your, your reading. Okay. Nope. Okay, we have in health and wellness, material harvest. We have in career and money, patience. And we have in uh, romantic love, fulfillment of wishes. Okay, and that is a cup's energy. So that's exciting too, because that's all about, well, it's the same card as the nine of cups. Okay, and I'm going to do a real quick shuffle here. We're going to get your overall theme, and then we'll pull your clarifiers and dig into the meat of the message. Okay. Wow, home. I love this card. Um, I'm going to read it from the book. The number is 27 for me. The two is the number of the divine feminine, and that's about creativity, uh, resiliency, inspiration, uh, solid foundation, all that kind of stuff. The seven is about um, divine timing or, or divinity. You add them together, and it's a nine. And for me, the nine is about graduating from a cycle preparing yourself for the next part of a journey that's really exciting so the card says home you're comfortable in your own skin you belong peace security safety belonging and all the features one would want from home are indicated now the home card represents an invitation to experience what it's like to be secure in your own skin to live comfortably no matter what's happening in the world around you it's a time for opening your eyes to your tribe of like-minded people or one special person who makes you feel like you've come home home is love and love is all around you now whatever your inquiry your you are where you're meant to be and will reap great benefits by staying on this path regardless of where it leads. Home will always be with you because home is where the heart is. Okay, beautiful card. This is your overall theme. So if you've been feeling kind of edgy um, and you guys are doers, you're, you go out and accomplish things you and you believe in you know following tasks and all that stuff and a lot of people are home right now because of what's going on in the world so if you're feeling a little edgy uh, you are where you're supposed to be right now so we're going to get the meat of your message through the clarifiers with this arcanum tarot and again i already did the pre-shuffle i'm just going to see if anything jumps out uh, if not we're i don't know that might be too many cards Wow. <laughs> nope, not too many cords. It was exactly the amount of cords. So with uh, the harvest, the material harvest, it's being clarified with the uh, page of swords and the ten of swords. And patience is being clarified with the star card and the seven of swords. 
uh, you're all up in your head while you're stuck at home. And then fulfillment of wishes is being clarified with the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Swords. So let's see what's going on here. Um, for health and wellness, we have material harvest. This card is uh, the same as the Nine of Pentacles, which is independently abundant. Um, and Pentacles has to do with things in the earthly realm. So I feel like it has to do with with your physical health more than anything else. And health and wellness for me is about mind, body, and spirit. But I feel like here they're talking more about your physical health. And they're asking you to get curious. Get curious about what you can do to maintain your physical health at this time of solitude or isolation or quarantine, whatever it is anybody wants to call it. What are those things you can do to keep your body active, to keep yourself moving around? Because Spirit wants you to be grateful for, for your health and for what you've already uh, been able to accomplish with your body. And then you have the Ten of Swords. Uh, and I feel like, Virgo, I feel like maybe you've been sitting around all in your head and, and trying to figure out how can I be productive in this time. And it's almost like it's imprisoning you. You're just sitting around instead of moving around. So, and I feel like that's what Spirit's saying. Move around. Stop, the, stop this sitting around thinking about how bad things are out there and how you can't do anything about it. Uh, you are where you're meant to be right now. And, and I feel like, okay, Spirit's graduating you, right? They're graduating you to that next level. The, the overall number on this was nine. The number of this is nine. They're preparing you to go to a next level. Guys, you don't know. On the other side of this, you might have been out there working, busting your butt on a daily basis. And on the other side of this, you're going to end up in an office with a promotion or something. Who knows? But you're being prepared to... Uh, to be able to maintain your physical activity even at a time when you are grounded, for lack of a better word, okay? In work and uh, money, you have the patience card. That It's a one and a four. The number is 14. The one is creativity. The four is solid foundations. You add them together, it's five. That's change. So... And you're in a changed place right now. We talked about this, I think, with your reset last um, last week where, where you know, you're just so used to getting out there and doing and doing and doing. And Spirit's wanting you to appreciate all of the characteristics or all of the qualities that you actually have and, and build your confidence, right? So with career and money... There's change, something's changing, right? And, and, and they're asking you to be patient with it. Um, I feel like, again, you have some stuff where you're trying to figure out what can you do. You're all in your head about what can I do, what can I do? And Spirit's saying, take the things that you can do and do them and leave the rest behind. Whatever you can't do, whatever you cannot address, they're telling you that you can do something different with your physical body instead of sitting around trying to figure out what you can do. Get up and move around. Be curious about how you can honor your own body. And then <coughs> with work, whatever you can do, if you can plan for something on the other side of this, then plan for it. But whatever you can't do, you have to leave it alone. You have to let it go because it doesn't serve you to keep worrying about something that you can't do anything about. Um, I had a real good friend of mine who's a licensed professional counselor on this channel. Her name is Kara Sargent and her favorite three letters are FCC. If I can't fix it, change it or control it, I have to let it go. Okay. And so they're asking you to transmute that energy. The, uh, the card, <coughs> excuse me, this card right here is the same card as the Major Arcana of Temperance, which is about transmuting energy. And this card, this particular star, uh, there's another deck where I have a star card where she's really honoring her person, herself as a person. But in this particular uh, depiction, she's working, she's transmuting something also. The nine, I mean, the, um, 
the star card is like the major arcana of wishes fulfilled or it's about blessings and i feel like spirit saying uh, in this time be blessed feel blessed about the things that you can take care of and transmute the need to take care of other things and in your love and my, uh, love romantic love reading we have the wish fulfillment this is going to be if you're dating somebody in a coupled up committed relationship if you're just kind of dating around <coughs> which has kind of changed a lot in this particular type of situation that we have going on in the world or if you're single there i feel like spirit saying we're wanting to come in and fill you up in a way that you've always wanted to be filled up it's going to start with you focusing on yourself what is it that you want even if you're within a relationship Sorry, even if you're within a coupled up relationship, I feel like Spirit's asking you to define what is it that you want out of this relationship, out of this situation. And let us help you find it. It's going to start with you. It's going to start with you truly understanding from a deep place of self what it is that you want. What is it that fills your cup up? And then you're going to have so much more clarity on, on how this can move forward in a uh, a more uh, loving or productive way uh, or how dating can be easier there's gonna be some kind of clarity or how you as a single person can move forward uh, in the way that fills you up but but for some of you uh, you're absolutely in the perfect relationship right now already and and you feel very uh, my cup is overflowing with this relationship and it's exactly where I want to be. It's home for me. Okay, we're going to get your PS. And again, I already did a pre-shuffle, so I'm just going to do a quick shuffle and see if we have any jumpers for your PS. That was wild that, that those cards jumped out all together for your reading. You're the first, uh, well, maybe not. Uh... I've never had them all jump out like that all together for that. Okay. P.S. King of Cups. Okay, so I, I feel like they're saying the King of Cups is the most mature energy in the uh, in the cup suit, right? And the king is a visionary and he's a doer. Well, you've got the doing going right and you're visionary too, but, but he also loves himself enough to let go of things that don't serve him, right? Uh, he loves himself unconditionally. He accepts whatever position he's in. And those things that he can change, he does. And those things that he can't, he lets them go. Because he knows that to worry about them uh, only slows down his ability to do what's best for his kingdom. Your kingdom can be yourself, the people in your household. It can be your community, your state, your world, whatever. Uh, whatever that is for you. And spirits graduating you, right? They're, remember I said they're graduating you, getting you ready for another level. There's something about control for you guys. And spirits asking you to give up control. Uh, that maybe no matter where you are, this is no matter where you are, no matter what is going on in the world around you, uh, you're very loved and, and, and your home is where your heart is. So no matter what's going on, they're ready for you to put to rest the idea that you have to be in control of everything. And there's an Ace of Wands. Um, so this is, you've got three Aces right here. You've got the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Swords, and the Ace of Wands. Um, you're only missing the Ace of Pentacles. But you've already got something going on. That's why, that's why it's not showing up. But this is, they're saying, they're inspiring you to, to figure out a different way to be where you don't have to um, to be the one doing and controlling all the time. And I really believe, I'm not even kidding you, I really believe for whatever reason I'm feeling the energy of on the other side of this, you're going to be showing up in a different way for work. It's not going to be about the physical activity anymore. It's going to be about uh, you're, you're, go you're going to be... Um, maybe at a desk. I don't know. I, I just see something different happening. And again, I feel like this is a part where they're graduating you to the place where you can do that and still be responsible, 
uh, with your physical health uh, because a lot of times when we work when we're on the move a lot we kind of let slide the exercise stuff because we get enough physical activity all day long right so I feel like that's what that's about anyway that's your reading guys thank you so much for being a part of the Daily Mail community and until next time go out and nope stay in and have a super duper day bye